Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. John Uluwale. I'm a specialist neurologist. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the relationship between high body temperature called fever and seizures or convulsions in children. Why is it that some children when they have fever they can have convulsions and what should you do if this happens and is there a way you can prevent these from happening so first of all i'd like to welcome you back to the channel for those who have been watching all the time and i appreciate you for watching and in case you're stumbling on the channel for the very first time this is brain gist it's a channel i created to educate people about the brain and its disorders i encourage you to therefore subscribe turn on your notifications so you can know each time I release videos all right today's video centers around the relationship between fever and convulsions children between the ages of six months and three years so between the ages of six months and five years actually can have convulsions when they have fever not just any degree of fever usually fevers higher than 38 degrees Celsius. The sheer presence of high body temperature in these children between this age bracket I mentioned is enough to cause them to have a convulsion. And it's due to the fact that their brains are still maturing and therefore is vulnerable to seizures from fever. It's not all children who have fevers of this degree or higher that would have seizures. So it happens in about two to 4% of children in this age group. So besides the high temperature, would it also raise some intrinsic uh, vulnerability, which probably has to do with the genetic makeup of the individual. However, um, this doesn't necessarily mean that these individuals are going to have epilepsy in the future. It's just an age related um, event or phenomenon. So um, fever could be caused by so many things in children. It could be due to infections within the gastrointestinal tracts. It could be due to infection in the respiratory tract. It could be due to malaria in parts of the world where malaria is a problem. It could be due to dengue. It could be due to anything, COVID. So when these children have fever of this degree, it can potentially make them convulse. So should you witness this happening in your child or in a child under your care, you shouldn't panic. All you have to do is ensure they are lying in a soft place or on a soft surface. Turn them on their side, preferably on their left side, so that whatever secretions come out of their mouth can easily drain under gravity. And usually it stops within a few minutes, within two, three minutes it stops, usually less than five minutes. And afterwards it's okay if they are sleepy or confused or unconscious for about five to 10 minutes. So after all of this is done, then you can call the ambulance or take them to the hospital. The other thing I forgot to mention is while the seizure is going on and while they are jerking if you have a timepiece with you you could actually take note and record how long it takes for the seizure to stop that to stop that information is usually very useful to the doctor and it helps them to know that it's a simple situation or a complex situation now the doctor would in, will indeed confirm if um, it's indeed um, a simple febrile seizure, in which case you don't have to do anything other than treat the fever and treat the cause of the fever, all right? Or if it's something else more complex. Usually children who've had a febrile seizure before could have it again in the future whenever they have fever. So for such individuals, the doctors would teach you how best to manage fever at home so that it doesn't reach the point where the child has 
a febrile seizure. But sometimes the parents may not have the opportunity to know that their children have fever. It could be the seizure that arouses it in the first place. So sometimes the doctors might also give you some medications that you can use at home to treat um, those seizures, especially for those who have multiple seizures in a single day or have very prolonged seizures. So such medications could be things you could put through their anus or their rectum that would help to stop the seizure when it does um, start. So um, one very important information before I end this video is the fact that if it, your child is between the age bracket six months to five years, if they are having a fever, it's important for you to make sure you treat the fever either by tepid sponging or giving them paracetamol to lower their temperature, the appropriate dose, and then of course, get them to a healthcare worker to help you find out the cause of the fever and address it. I'm not suggesting that you uh, do self-treatment, but of course it's worth as parents learning how to manage fever at home, because when you control fever, then there may be, there'll be no chance for a febrile seizures to happen. So thank you for watching today. I do hope you learned something. If you did, please give your comments below, like the video, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe and put on your notification. Should you have questions, I'll be interested to see those questions and I'll respond to them as soon as I can and to the best of my knowledge. So thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you again next time.